We are just 15 days away from the 2023 NFL Draft, and we'll finally know at that time who the Detroit Lions will pick. One thing I love about Brad Holmes is we have no idea what this man is going to do. We can mock, we can speculate, we can hope, we can think this or think that, and no one knows what he's going to do. I think that's one of his best qualities as a general manager. But Mel Kuyper, who's been doing this for a while, and you guys are no stranger to what we do here, we go over Mel Kuyper's mock drafts. Now, I'm kind of mocked out, so I got room for Mel Kuyper, and that's it, only because I think his stuff is kind of entertaining, and he's, out of all of the draft people, he's probably the number one person that everybody references. You got all these different guys, and his is like at the top of the food chain. I know you guys hate him. I know, well, not hate him, but hate his drafts and stuff like that, and who is Mel Kuyper anyway? But his are entertaining, and so I'm, I'm just going to stick with his. He has what I assume to be maybe one more if he does that. I think it's usually four to five, so I assume that this is 4.0. This information was released yesterday, but let's go over who Mel Kuyper has us taking in his two-round mock. This is different from the last one, and the only time I do these is if it's different from the last mock draft. And this one here is probably the best one that I've seen. This right here would be an absolute dream scenario. So without further ado, let's get started with the Mel Kuyper mock draft two-round 4.0. With the sixth pick in the 2023 NFL Draft, the Detroit Lions select Will Anderson Jr. That would be fantastic to see he didn't even put that one on here but we're going to just go ahead and say that will anderson jr he has quarterbacks coming off the board the first four picks and then the seattle seahawks taking jalen carter with that fifth pick so number 18 is b john robinson out of texas this right here would be phenomenal um whether or not we draft b john robinson i think or any running back deandre swift his time in Detroit is nearing its end. If we kept DeAndre Swift and, and drafted B. John Robinson, then him, Swift, and Montgomery would be the best running back room in the National Football League. A healthy DeAndre Swift is a force to be reckoned with, but we all know that that is tough. It's tough for him to stay healthy. Now, me, myself, if we don't get B. John Robinson, I would not mind Jameer Gibbs. This dude, B. John, doesn't have the speed that Gibbs has, and DeAndre Swift doesn't have the endurance that any running back has. The 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 stability, the you know, the structural integrity to keep playing. So this right here would be those two picks, B. John at 18 and Will Anderson Jr. at six would be fantastic. With the 48th pick in the 2023 NFL draft, the Detroit Lions select Jack Campbell, linebacker out of Iowa. Now, Jack Campbell is solid. Uh, I know a lot of you guys want Trenton Simpson or Miles Sanders. I wouldn't be mad at this. Um, he's got his ups. He, he's got his downs. But a second-round linebacker would be the highest linebacker that we've ever seen Brad take. There's been some wondering if they'll trade for Devin White. I don't think they're going to do that. Um, this would be a great pick. We need a linebacker. We also need a defensive tackle. Uh, we don't know what's happening with Lisa, Levi, how he's going to be. So I wouldn't be mad at this at all, but let me know what you would think in the comments below. And last but certainly not least, with pick number 55 in the 2023 NFL Draft, the Detroit Lions select Jalen Hyatt, wide receiver out of Tennessee. Now I'm going to be honest, I really don't know anything about this kid. I haven't looked him up. I haven't watched any highlights or any film or anything like that on him. So I really don't know what his good and bad is, but I do know that we need a wide receiver. And I'm, I'm thinking about this NFL draft. With the release and the trade of Jeff Okuda, we picked up an extra fifth-round pick. So I misspoke yesterday. We have two firsts, two seconds, one third. That's five there. We have no fourth. Then we have two in the, two in the fifth and two in the sixth for a total of nine. We have no fourth and no seventh. So we need quite a bit of player still. We need a defensive tackle. We need a wide receiver. Will we get a cornerback? Will we get a quarterback? So it's quite a bit of stuff that we need uh, as far as both sides of the ball, running back, 
cornerback, quarterback, a lot of stuff that Brad Holmes still has to fill in. So I wouldn't be surprised if another trade somewhere down the line happens. But a wide receiver is definitely something that we need 100%. So let me know in the comments below, what do you think of Mel Kuyper's 4.0? This should be his 4.0 two-round mock draft for the Detroit Lions. For me, got to do some research on Jalen Hyatt, Hyatt, but Will Anderson Jr., B. John Robinson, Jack Campbell, three positions that we still need. Our defense would be outstanding. The running back room would take a colossal jump, and we would be a better team regardless because I do think we need a running back uh, and somebody to pair opposite Aiden, Aiden Hutchinson. So this would be fantastic for me. This is probably the first one that he's done in quite a while that I've agreed with. This would be a dream scenario draft. And no trades ha ha had to happen, so we keep our draft capital as well. And this is only the first what, four picks? So we still have five left, and we got a quarterback and all that stuff to get. So let me know in the comments below what you think. My name is Derek. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Trying to get a uh, – we need a push, man, to get to 10K by the NFL draft, but that's okay because if we don't get there then, I'm sure we'll be there after by May 1st. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself, and as always, go Lions.